Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how I made these little fish hook necklace and keychains and how you can make them really strong even though they're small and a shape that's highly prone to breaking like this first trial that I made. Some of these fish hooks are going to have a rainbow inlay in them so I'm just getting pieces of veneer cut down to size and I'm going to laminate them together like plywood. So I'm going to be alternating the grain pattern and that's going to allow for a lot of strength because when the grain's running the, the long direction it's really difficult for it to snap in, in that way. So by laminating them together you're able to get a lot of strength in a small space. I also made some that were solid walnut like you see in this picture here. Notice the grain direction is going upright on one side and it's going sideways on the other side of the necklace. So just by laminating the two pieces together with again an alternating grain pattern being the key um, I'm able to make a very strong hook shape um, and have it still be pretty small and, and appear delicate. There are nine layers of material here so I'm applying a lot of clamp pressure um, to assure that I get the glue um, you know well squeezed throughout. I'm just going to clean up the edges And I'm going to set this up in my CNC. So I was trying to figure out how to cut these out and I came up with a lot of different patterns and then remembered, well, I do have a CNC, so this would be a good opportunity to use this. So as this gets started here, that is the actual speed. So it did take 23 minutes per hook to cut these out. Um, so that's pretty dreadful. So this is a lot more fun speed. I wish that it would cut fast like this. Once I have the general shape cut out now, um, in order to make this look like a really, really nice product, I'm going to have to do a lot of hand sanding. Um, use the belt sander on the outside. I'm going to use a Dremel to get a little bit more shape on the inside of it and then just keep sanding by hand. I'm using some copper wire to hold the little ring that's going to have the, uh, the other ring for the keychain in it. Um, I did this a little bit different, wrapped it all the way to the top for the necklaces, but you know, kind of the same process and um, looks really nice when it's done. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.